Hello everyone and welcome to the Ultimate Gaming Channel. This is going to be the first episode of Alan Wake 2 walkthrough. So yeah, let's head straight into it. I will click on the new game and I will play a normal. So let's go. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. Let's see the story and then. Monsters wear many faces. Yeah. Small introduction at the beginning. So let's see what this game is about, guys. What the fuck? Hey, dude. This guy, oh my god. So what is this? Some kind of a lake? Yeah, lake. The guy's butt naked. I don't like that so much, but okay, let's go. Oh, let's see. Come on, man. Let's. The two people saw me. I mean, so this guy. Come on, buddy. Heading to the woods. I want to run, but I still can't. Nice woods, though. Run. Wait. Bambi. What the fuck? Fuck his ass, guys. Fuck him. I don't like it at all. Big tree. And finally, yeah, we can sprint by toggling shift key. So very good. I don't need to hold the button. And what the? Yeah, some disturbing scenes. Game saved, okay. Let's go. More into the woods. I don't like this. I don't like this at all, guys. Now raining. And some lights are there. So. All right. What the fuck? No. 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 Oh my fucking god. What? Oh, 
This is sick, guys. Oh my god. What the... People saw them. Yeah, that's the same too. And the guy's dead. Car tripped out. Nice introduction into the story, into the game, I mean. So let's get a move on. I like it so far. And the lake. Alan Wake 2 Hell yeah Hey kiddo, how are you? I'm good mom, how are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What's happened? Just... work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers! Oh, nice. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you That's go on work trips, here. Mom. Oh, that's Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. I will. Like a movie. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Detectives on a way to the case. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Very good. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. And we are coming to the lake to investigate the murder. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. Yeah, let's go to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the okay. car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> there is the car. Bear. I'll check out that map. Let's find a deputy, and this is chapter one, the invitation, return one called, but that's probably chapter one. So let's check the map now. And yeah, actually, Cauldron Lake map, so we are here right now, parking lot, and let's see now. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go oh, take a look. Probably down here. Let's go and see. And there is a guy. Cauldron Lake rental cabins are hey there. there, all right. Agent Casey, right? Hello, Sheriff buddy. Baker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Okay, Doug Anderson. man. I'll be leading this case. Doug Anderson. You already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that... Uh, Where's those damn things gonna show up, Mulligan? <laughs> that full agent's right here, Thornton. 
My Maybe. partner Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right. <laughs> No way, man. So. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Oh, I'm from the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. Okay, I let's see the body. take a look at the How body. Do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Keep on looking. Tell them I'm here, waiting. I'll show them around. They've got it, Thornton. <laughs> okay, thank you, man. Let's go. So... Meet Deputy Thornton at the Before general store. The scene, there's time to review the facts of the case. And there so is far. the lake. Make sure nice I'm seeing view. the clues clearly. You can access the case board inside the mine place. Let's take a look at that right now. The mine place. My version of the mine palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mine place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. Hell yeah, girl. The so we are inside board. of her head now. Let's check the case board then. Everything we know about the previous murders. Nice. Worth taking another look. So case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. So we can use VISD to move around, scroll. So zoom in. You are now free to navigate the case board, okay. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. So visiting Close the mind the place does not pause the game. So be mindful of Let's head down threats. the hill to the crime scene. So that means don't use it while there's some action involved. Fucking major. Okay, that's gonna be that guy. Down there. Come on, buddy. Let's go, man. Hey Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, Golden Lake rental cabins again. They're okay. Than I am. We've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Real funny, Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> so use F to jump ledges, guys. And now, what is this? Just some mirror peak mountain. Alright, so let's head down there. Now. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Right. So should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here Come on, buddy. Feels like you're running faster than me than go. You had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. And we are coming to the general store, guys. Hey, Deputy Thornton. Hi, man. Take it. That's me at your service. Deputy Thornton. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. Let's check it, man. Body is behind oh. the general FBI, store. Huh? Hi. That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Let's just see this body, shall we? Let's see the body. And there it is. Yeah. Come on, guys. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. 
And we didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. So let's this check the is body the now. Of the previous murders. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. So you unlock your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mine place. Let's do that now. So here is the picture. Another Double click on it and. As we arrive in town. Coincidence? Placing a key image in the case board begins a new line of investigation. So this is now a new file. And the new question is, when a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. All right. So objective are viable, viable at like the case board in your goals. All right. So investigate the crime scenes. Let's continue to examine the body. We can <coughs> Sorry about this. So you can collect clues from the body to progress the investigation. The killer left the heart right next to the body. So there's a heart. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Very nice. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. And now we have a case board. With some clues. So let's see now. Add the pictures to the case board. Let's see. What will she find out? Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. Yeah, this girl. Four murders that we know about. Okay, so go back to cases. The clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Okay. So now again, with control, learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. That's the new two questions here. Who is our victim? But now Who let's see. Him? More clues. Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple yes. killers? What is this? Someone was drinking beer. Hmm? They spent time here, waiting. Right. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Let's see now what we got. Was it for a camera? Was he killed here or brought here after? For display. So come on, case board. What the fuck? Yeah. And uh, cases, Calderon Rake. And now let's see what we have here. So the killers. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Talk to someone, all right. So probably talk with these guys. Any idea who the victim is? No, oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. Nightingale. He, was FBI. he came to town about 13 years ago. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh. Oh, and sisters. <laughs> Clues can be discovered by speaking to people as well by examining your surroundings. Thanks. So let's talk with so him now. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I... Ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. All right, so... Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Very nice. So let's see now, we got some new things here. And who is the victim? Who was the victim, actually? <laughs> Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Very nice. Now more clues here. Based 
laid plan for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. Right. But why Nightingale? Why? He's been missing for 13 years. Why now? Why here? Why now? <laughs> okay, go back to cases. Nothing there, but... Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Very nice. So we unlocked profiling, actually. You can use profiling inside Saga's mind. Place to get inside the head of suspects and victims. Okay. Let's try and do that, guys. And profiling is right there. Using her intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. All right. So let's see Nightingale. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Out from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Came from the lake, all right. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. It's somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Very nice, very nice. Now go back to close. And what we got here. Nightingale came from the Cauldron Lake. All right. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Yeah, let's this go, Casey. Way, right. right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just wait here. Bye, officer. This is one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From a lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly me. The killers knew he was here. Ambushed him. Dragged him to the campground. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses at Booker. The job is unfinished. Well, that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm -hmm. To examine the blocked part. Lots of answers for us to find. Let's see what we have here. Trees, got Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? And a piece of paper. They came out from under the boulder. Makes no sense. There's a piece of paper on the ground. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Yeah. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. Oh my god. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Yeah. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt, like a message. felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An, An invitation. invitation. How could they not accept, even, even if they, they knew it would end up hurting them? The story is already written. We're just playing it. That's my thoughts so Someone's far. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. I like the story right. so far. This, this is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Figure out what happened Either to Nightingale. Either he dropped his cage, 
before the killers left it for us. Manuscript pages can be read inside Saga Mind's place. Okay, so just let's quick see that. So manuscript pages are here. And then we can just read them with F. If you want to read them, just pause the video, guys. Go back to profiling and we have some new things here about the page. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. He must dig it out. Something was put inside him. Oh my in god. His chest. I must find out what. Instead of a heart. So let's go back to the case board and more clues are now here. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. So maybe anywhere else? Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. So we find all the clues now. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Okay, map, mini map like shortcut is thriller. them, right? I hate all of it. The Let's go back to the deputy. Find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to Find their it design? Out all the above? It's all about control. Back to the deputy. Made it back. Good. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. Hey, buddy. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Heck, man. So we got a key. It's a shortcut key. Thanks. So take the car back to the Bright Falls. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At so the here are the door. I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's, Let's just quick check the map and see what we are well, what we did so far. So here is the murder site. We were walking all the way from here and down here over the general store and then here. So now I will unlock this door here and probably go just straight back to the parking lot. So let's go, guys. Here are the door. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean. Deputies oh, aren't yes. exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Deputies are a bit stupid. Something is there, but this is the way back to the cars. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. What is tripod? For a camera? To record a... Film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? And another door. Something for us to find. So let's just quick see where we are now. And exactly as I thought, these doors. And okay, so parking lot is here. Let's go straight there. Here we are. And we are back at the car. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. 
So we need to go to Bright Falls and continue our investigation there to actually examine the body and the bark. So let's just go and do that now, guys. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these punches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. She's happy about it. And here we are in Bright Falls. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Yeah, girl. So this will be actually the end of the first episode, guys, the because the water video is already too long. Keep the and our witnesses waiting. So I if you liked what you see, please consider subscribing and uh, join me in the second episode where we're going to continue this Alan Wake 2 walkthrough. And thank you for watching, guys, and see you in another video.